Hi everyone, welcome back. Part two, we're gonna be this pretty tree. And we're gonna use some rose quartz and some crystals. The crystals are four millimeter bicones and the rose quartz, it's, they're just small pieces. If I run short, I've got a whole bunch more. I'm just, I don't like the way the color looks in the camera. I don't know why it looks like that. I don't know, we'll see. But we're going to start off with the leaf because we have uh, the wire is definitely long enough. Oh, actually, let me just make sure if I want to twist any more before I do that. I'll make sure my tree is where I want it. So I'm just going to fold those wires over just like that because sometimes lately. I've not been quite where I want my tree to be. It still comes out beautiful, but eh, I think that'll work. I think I will twist this out a little bit more. Only because uh, they're long enough and I'm going to put a leaf and a couple of bends. For everyone that's new, I do cut my wire as I go. And I don't wrap it around my hoop anymore. Instead, I do it differently, and I'll show you why. And I also lace my branches so that they don't separate. And there's a full tutorial on that where I take my time and I added um, a contrast wire so that you could actually see what I was doing. So, for the most part, I stop, unless it's in a bracelet, all of my trees with a little leaf of three bicones or three seed beads. You can do whatever you choose. I like to use the three little bicones. They're four millimeter. I think it just adds a sweet touch. So, I put them on my wire, slide them down just a, a little bit, like that. And bring this wire right up to the part we twist and just throw in a few little twists like that and after you make a leaf you're going to have a long wire and a short wire twist with the long wire so that you can make it to your hoop put a few twists in And we're going to bead. I'm going to put in another twist here. Well, that didn't work. Try that again. The way I like to do it, I like to take my wire, bring it to my hoop, wrap it over, pass it up. I like to wrap it again. So there's two wires now on my hoop. Bring it up, cross it over right beneath the hoop above your last bead or crystal bring it up and over and we can go on to the next one let's hope that we can make all these wires <laughs> to the hoop and normally I don't have that problem because I always overcut so in this case I cut them 14 inches long and usually I go 15, if I want to use a lot of leaves, I'll even do 16. In this case, um, definitely, I would rather, unless you don't mind a short wire, I, I don't like it. It gives me too much grief. Let's 
See, I don't like to, to work with such a small piece of wire. Because then I have to grab these. And I don't like to do it. And that is not going to make it twice. So we're going to have to just wrap it once. Which is fine. Yeah, this is why I don't like to cut my wire short. So everybody that says, oh, you waste wire. For me, this is a problem. I don't like to have it short at all. So, hopefully, we won't run into an issue where I have to add wire. Because I'd rather not. I could have, but instead I just wrapped it around once. That's not going to matter. We're going to lace around it anyway. After I do these two, I'll show you how I um, cut and use tweezers to make it uh, nice and tight underneath the bead where I put it. That's too big. I'm going to wrap it around again, so you have two little wires on your hoop, and bring it up, pass it down, that won't happen again. I think it would have been okay had I not put the... Um, wires on the outside maybe i still cut it from now on on a four inch i'm cutting it 15 inches if you don't like it that long that that's fine if you think i have an inch and a half too much wire or an inch too much wire if you make one don't use that much wire it's pretty easy if you see what i cut off to determine if that is too much for you plus it depends on how you um, how you twist and also the size of your bead the bigger the bead the more wire it takes so see this is how I like it I don't like to have to use the plies to pull my wire up even that's a little bit tiny for me I don't like to have to pull tight. And then I get in nice and close and I clip off my wire after I do four branches after each set. And that one there, I'm just going to bend it down with my tweezers so it doesn't stick up. I don't like my wires to catch. That's why I do it like this. I just take my tweezers and I get in there and I bend it. Wrap it right around the neck of the wire. So I use two pairs, Dollar Store or CVS. I've had these for a long time. I use the flat ones first. I push down. Hold on to your work while you do that. Like that. And then I come back if I can't do it with the wide ones. With the small one that's pointy. And I just get in there and 
getting stuck. Bend it, turn it. Besides, it looks neater. I do lace, I wrap um, after I'm done with my tree. I don't like all that wire wrapped around my hoop. I used to do it that way, but I find that when I, and it, it might, you know, if you like to do it that way, do it that way. I used to. I just decided that I like it better this way. I like to get in with my um, needle nose pliers, support the work, or you'll, or you'll break it, and give it a little bend. And that, that's another reason why I don't like to wrap around the hoop, because I like my tree to be very tight. I don't want it flopping around. I don't want it sagging. I want it to be nice and strong. And wrapping it only one time around the hoop over here, I don't like that either. But it was too short. So, and that's how it looks. And that's what I like. That's my style. And you'll, if you've not made a tree, or even if you have, you'll develop your own. And I've been doing this for over 11 years now, and this is the style that I've been pretty dedicated to. I, I just like it. I'm passionate about making them and um, sharing. I don't know why some of these beads look yucky on the... They, they, they don't look bad, like, in person, but for some reason, maybe it's the extra light I have. I don't know. I'm not loving the way they look. around the hoop and then cross it right under your hoop and then push it back up and cross it over so it looks like that two little wires and this goes around so when you tighten it it won't come undone it'll just it'll get rid of that loose look that I personally I don't like it not the mine. You bring it right over to your hoop. Hold on to it. Pass that wire up. Wrap it around your hoop again. Bring it up. Sorry about that. Something new I learned. I know how to pause now. Still can't edit, but I had to answer that phone call. I found out how to pause by accident. <laughs> it's a thing, guys. I just don't know how to do stuff. I did learn how to um, put it to music and people are not liking that. They rather hear me babble. Well, that's all right. If that's what you want. I like to explain what I'm doing anyway so that, you know, you can, that's not a four millimeter. If I explain it, you probably get more out of it than me putting it to music, especially if you've never made a tree before. It's really a, a it's a good craft. You know, it's it once you make one, you know, it takes a while to pick it up. It, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's not like you you just pick it up and it comes out perfect. It it doesn't. I broke wires. I made ugly trees. Um, <laughs> I made some doozies. But um, 
they get better every time. And if you make a mistake um, and you break a wire or it's too short, I'll, I'll show you how to fix it. It's in the playlist. So check out the playlists because if you're considering making a tree or you just like watching people make them, you'll learn a lot. I, I share what other people don't. You know, if they edit out a mistake, you know, or if it doesn't come out right, they, they just don't, they don't share it. I share it with you. I share everything. Because if I don't, then I've, I've failed you. And I want you, if you decide to make this your craft, I want you to succeed. Because then I've done my job the right way. I've shown you what to do. and Yeah. All right. So, enough of that. Let's put a few little twists in here. And when I support my work, I put my hand under it. Always hold on to the hoop. I push up with these fingers and down with these so it's it's tight and I'm not gonna break a wire. Oh well, I, I break wires, I'm not gonna lie. Just not that often. Not like I used to. There we go. And now come back and cut them. I used to do it all at at the end, I don't cut as I go on a bracelet, but on these I do cut as I go because it just makes it easier. It's not such a big wiry mess. But the bracelet, I just zip right down the the whole length of the bracelet. The whole circumference, just clip, clip, clip. I try to be mindful that some of you have never made one and I tend to sometimes go a little fast. I'm trying not to do that, or I just make it and I'm not explaining fully. And I'm working on it. So I've been adding everything as I go, and I've updated um, playlists, because that's where you're going to find anything that you're looking for. Um, when I first started, I didn't know how to make a playlist, and now I just have to remember to always add them. So this one here, it'll be in with um, 16 Ys, it'll probably be under favorites, or complete tutorials, it'll probably be in a few places. I think I did that with the first part, and that was just um, making the tree, doing the roots. But it's a fun little project, you know, and I'll keep it all together. In, in the sections as I go and um, the next one I make will be with 12 Y's not the 16 and then I still have to maybe later on I'll come back and finish not finish but do some more beading on this one I had to take a break yesterday I had a couple of appointments and then I just didn't feel like doing anything not too big. Yeah, so um, these four millimeter uh, bicones, I use them on every single project. I just love them, and they're in the playlist as well as the hoops. Now, um, these hoops are the only ones that I'll use. I've gotten hoops that have where the solder market like okay the, this one is right here you can barely see it I've got them where they have a big gaping space there and the wire gets caught up in it and they tarnish and these are really good hoops Look, they're, they're, they're nice really nice if you get the ones that say macrame and all that they're gonna they're made to cover, you know? It's like, this is meant not to be wrapped around with yarn or string cording. You don't have to cover this one. It's not ugly. Don't know why I cut that one now. 
That's because I'm talking. See? And I didn't cut it short enough. Sorry. I'll push it down. <laughs> Maybe not. Probably would have been better just to go back with the clipper and clip that wire right off. There. I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> I alternate with the, um, the bicones and a bead or a, a bigger crystals. I use all kinds of crystals. I really like them. And they look good in a window. See, this is the length I like, even a little longer. I mean, this just makes it, and I still have to use this. So guys, if this length works for you, 14 inches, probably if you did your roots on the inside, you'd probably be happy with 14 inch wire on a four inch, not me. And then if I make a lot of leaves, I'm only doing the two on the, the first and the last branch. But on some of my projects, I put them everywhere. I alternate. No, not today. And I decided to bead this whole thing rather than clusters. I actually don't even know when I decided to do that. I think it just kind of happened. I do like to use the little clusters. I think they look good. Do them both ways. Pretty lucky making it to the hoop. Except for that. See, I don't like that. Short. It just makes it hard for me to. I'd rather have it longer. But it beats not reaching the hoop. Oh my gosh, that's a pain in the butt. You can fix it. And it's not noticeable. Like, it's perfect, but who wants to have to do that? Not me. I've done that a, a, a million times. Yeah, this is the way I bead. I just, 
I used to keep a little container thing, but not, not anymore. I drop them all anyway. That's why I have to work out of a tray. I could have used some of the bigger beads. I know that right here, that's not going to be enough. I've got that big bag, but they're mostly big. Let's see. I don't want to mix it if I don't have to. I don't know why these beads just have a case of the uglies. I don't know. You can tell they're a different batch. I mean, rose quartz, some of them are very pink and some of them are clearer looking. And it's just the stone, but I actually got beads and I had not noticed it. Um, the drill marks had a black hole. So it, however, their machine drills their beads, they were not taking proper care on cleaning because Every single bead had a, a black hole. And I still, every now and then, come across some like that. It just makes me mad. Like, you know, the supplies are not cheap. And I don't want to get crappy stuff. So, I like the Joe Foreman. I, I haven't gotten them in a while. They're actually not even listed on the Amazon uh, playlist that I made. I used to get them all the time. And I, the last time I got four strands, it was for a custom order, of um, aquamarine. And they were slivers of broken, the whole, all, all, all the strands were horrible. So, of course, you know, I put in for a refund or whatever and they said don't even don't send them back I posted photos it's like yep here you go this is what I got and you never get someone that says don't return it I mean it wasn't even worth the shipping I, I don't think I could have salvaged anything from that entire order and then I never got them from Joe Foreman again I started working mostly with crystals. Uh, this is kind of not going to make it. It'll make it. I just don't have to cut it. Yeah. I am not happy with this 14 inch wire on this. But so far I have not had to add a piece. So that's good. And if I do, you'll see how to <laughs> how to fix a short wire without having to look for it in my playlist. Because I'll fix it. So I get a lot of questions like, how many wires would I use for this, and what length would you use? See, I, I mean, if, if you're looking at my work, and you think the wire I, because I, I tell you, and then I get the same question anyway. I write in the description how long the wire is, and what gauge it is, and then I get the question, how long is the wire, what gauge is it? How many wires? I stopped answering the ones that are... Because it's the same... I hate to say it, but... It's the same people. I mean, I appreciate you guys more than anything. You know, that's why I'm here. I mean, I come back because... You guys are great. Ooh. But, um... I try to you know, be accurate with what I'm using. And I make mistakes, but if you don't like the wire as long as I use, you cut it, cut it shorter. 
Well, that looks pretty, huh? We're almost halfway done. I think I'll do a few more, and then I have laundry downstairs I have to grab. My husband left for work at midnight, and I get up and went in the basement and started doing laundry. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting a cold. Thankfully, that's all it is. Look at the stuffy nose. So, I take stuff and it, it lasts for like four hours. And then, again, gotta take more stuff. And I would say what, which medication I use to over the counter, but I don't know if I can say that. I don't see why not, but See, that length right there is, is alright, because I can still grasp it, but when I have to grab plies to pull a wire, I, I know. For me, uh, I, I don't like it. Then I just come back and push them down. Any little wire that doesn't go completely down, like I come back later and go over them again. Plus, when I lace, I try to cross over it and pull on it, and it helps to secure. It, my my branches don't do this, like because I I lace. It's it's a something that I learned to do on my own. I didn't learn it from anybody. I had a tree hanging in my front entryway and where I had the chain it kept doing that separating where the jump ring was and I constantly kept fixing it and fixing it and eventually it broke and I was mad because it was a big hoop it was a 12 inch tree and I don't really like doing them that big I did buy 8 inch hoops though I just don't know when I'm going to use them Oh, which wire? I don't think I'll use this. This is a, a 22 gauge. It's a copper wire. Or, it's a copper. I don't even know. Anyway, the other one is aluminum. And that right there I bought. I used to use that, only that, when I first started. But uh, right now, I hand it's just not being nice, so I got the aluminum wire so I could still keep busy. Oh, I forgot. There was something I wanted to do. What did I do with it? Here we go. I got these little birds. They are the cutest, sweetest little bird on uh, on Amazon. And they are also in the playlist. 
And I had a lot of people ask about them. They have a lot of nice little charm things, like I got butterflies, and why does this one not want to go on? Am I missing it? There. How sweet is that? Do I want to put that there? Hmm. No. I think I'll put the bird on top. Let's see. Try again. There we go. Is that better? Or was it better in the tree? Oh, I think you can see it better. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't make up my mind, guys. There. We'll just add these beads because it'll be fine. It'll hold it in place, I, th I think. And also, um, if you're working with like clusters or whatever, um, two eyes will fit through that the bird if you decide to buy birds on Amazon. In the playlist, the 22 gauge wire, two eyes will fit nicely on that. The same as the um, bicones, and a lot, I do that a lot. Not a lot, it's one of my techniques. I almost forgot the bird. It's because I put it underneath. I should have put one down here too. That's all right. We have a lonely bird. Oh, another really short one. When it gets that short, I don't really have to wrap it around and pull it back up again. I just, I like to. I mean, if I can, it just, it's just the way I do it. It stays nice the way I want it to, to stay. I don't want my tree to slip and slide, and I don't want it to not look the same after a week, you know. I want it to always look as pretty as it does when I make it. And they do. I feel a wire. Oh, there it is. Get in there, hold on to it, push down with your thumb and push up with your fingers. That helps so you don't snap a wire. It'll, you can still break a wire. I've had it happen on the last one. Twisting on uh, the last little leaf. <laughs> and just have 
not just the leaf break, but the whole thing just separate. It's like, ah, oh, jeez. But it's easier to fix if it's closer to the bottom. But I'll show you how to fix it. Not that hard. If anything, it's just a little inconvenience. It's not ideal. I think we're going to leave it right there, guys. I want to go grab my laundry. I was going to do these last two, but I think for now, I think we're off to a good start. I like the little bird. He's cute. And let me see. What do I have? that I can put that on so you can see it without all my mess. There you have it. A lonely little bird. <laughs> That's alright. I mean, I could put another one down here, but I don't think it would look good. Let's just keep one. Alright, guys. I will see you back for part three. We'll finish it up and then embellish it. Don't forget, if you like my work, give me a thumbs up. It helps. It really, really helps me a lot. And I'll see you back for part three. Bye, guys.